Hello YouTube, it's Joey here, uh, Joanna for those who don't know me, and I just wanted to come up with a new video for you guys, uh, it's been a while, so I just wanted to do something cool with my Loot Crate pins. Um, I've gotten many of them, I've been getting them since March 2014, so I have more than a year's worth of pins. Uh, I am missing one month, which is, which is June 2014. I may have lost it. I don't know what happened. So what I thought I'd do is actually set them up in this little um, canvas here. So I bought um, these paint canvases, which is a stretched canvas. Um, it is 7 by 14 and it comes in a two pack and I got these at Walmart. Obviously these are for painting. Uh, but the good thing about it is that these are very easy to mount because they already have like the little um, it, it's uh, stretched uh, around a, a wooden frame so if you just have a little nail on the back you can uh, I'm sorry it's not focusing but if you just have a little nail on the back you can just hang your little loop crate thing so what I'm doing here is setting up the pins and actually this is harder than one might think. Um, I already set them up, I put them on top and I decided the, the layout that I wanted. You can choose your own layout, that's completely up to you. I have four special pins on the side which were for one of the crates uh, the past few months uh, which have... Um, uh, raging unicorns from the Captain Sparkles uh, group and the other groups from different um, games. I also have a few Hello Kitty uh, buttons that I had have had for years and years and years and I want to incorporate them. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using these special ones to design to kind of mark off the Loot Crate ones. Um, so I'm gonna have these very special uh, pins. The thing is why I wanted to make this video is because I found out I've been doing this and it's not that easy uh, to set up because obviously if you're trying <laughs> that one fell out there if you're trying to pin them from the front here you're kind of eyeballing where the um, needle goes. So what I found out is, well, obviously you're going to spend a lot of time with this one's up top here to decide the spacing and all that stuff. But once you got the ones on top, um, the second line becomes much easier if you just do it on the back side. So you're actually going to have to do this a little bit blind. Um, you know the direction it's going, so the pin is going... Uh, um, um, not towards you so uh, away from you and you're gonna see where the previous pin starts and where this pin which line it's in so what you're gonna want to do is kind of you're gonna poke the needle out and check that it's kind of it, it has to it, it doesn't have to be perfect but you want it to you want it to kind of line up here and line up here and, and I'm twisting this a little bit so you can see because this one's hidden a little bit under the frame but it's pretty much lined up so that's what I want to do pull it up for a little bit and then you're gonna have to push with your finger pull on the it's kind of like a, a game. You're going to pull, push with your finger on the back and push with this other finger on the, uh, on the needle so it pushes through. When you come back here, you'll see the needle po poking through. So again, you're just going to, with your thumb, push up so you have the needle pulls up so you can uh, push it forward. So there it is, it's lined up with the rest of them. 
and um, you can continue doing this so I'm gonna continue and show you guys um, how it ends up okay um, I want, kind of wanted to show you guys this one because it's something that you might get and it's when it's it the needle is not straight with the um, with the um, the sign uh, you'll see here this one it goes kind of if you want it like that straight the needle is facing upward that way <laughs> so you're gonna have to put it upward that way so that go means going lower here and higher here so because you if not if you put it straight with the needle then the design will be skewed it'll be to the side and you want to keep it kind of uh, not not perfectly evenly centered and 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 straight but you want to keep it kind of straight not super uh twisted see this one's kind of a little bit to the side but it's okay but this one would be especially very much to the side if it were if the needle was straight so um i'm gonna work on that one and do the rest again and show you guys the end okay guys so this is the completed uh look create uh canvas pin pin canvas that i made um it, as you guys can see here we have march april may july i'm missing june I have August, September, uh, October, November, the, the December 2014 anniversary one, um, the January uh, 2015, February, March, uh, April, May, and June. I'm missing July. I'm still not got in my crate yet because um, it's... Um, it, it goes overseas. I'm in Puerto Rico, and um, we have the other crates that I've got, the other um, uh, pins that I told you about. So um, this is what it looks like completed from the front, and I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm gonna keep adding. I have space for basically nine more months, and after that, I have well another canvas I can use. Um, so I hope you guys like this. This is my ongoing pin display. I, I thought this was a, a pretty neat idea and um, pretty inexpensive too with um with the stretch canvas that you can find either at Walmart or any uh, art store. Um, so I hope you guys liked it and have a good one. Bye!